I'm here with you with another project. I started my Mother's Day cards. I wanted to get them started early. Um, I haven't been in the card making mood, so it was kind of hard to get back into it. But I have it in this pouch already because I just wanted to try out and see if it fit. Because usually I make my cards five and a half by five and a half. Um, and I had purchased this from Joann's.com. It's six and a half by six and a half sealing uh, self sealing bags. I got them on sale I believe. You got 50 in there so I just wanted to make sure it was going to fit. Um, and it does as you can see with the extra. Perfect and it's thick. So I made an easel card. This is for, I'm not sure if I'm going to send this to my mother-in-law or my mother. I still got to make two more cards so it's one's for my mom, one's for my mother-in-law, and one's for my sister-in-law. So I will start with one, not knowing who they're going to go to, and then I'll take it from there. So it's an easel card. Again, it closes, and the card itself is 5.5 by 5.5, but it sticks out about a half an inch, well, more than a half an inch, probably about an inch, closer to an inch with the trim, um, but still fits in that sealable bag. Um, before I get into details, I did use this pad here, which is Graphic 45 Botanical Tea, which is like a perfect pad for Mother's Day cards because of the gardening theme and yet tea, um, tea theme, birds, you know, a lot of nature and it's also shabby chic in color. Um, my mother-in-law, that's why I was thinking of giving this to her, she loves gardening, she loves flowers. I don't know if she loves tea, um, but, and she loves my cards and my husband was telling me that her and my sister-in-law do save all the cards that I make so you know I'm always I always have to make them a card and my mom same thing so I did use that and excuse me I did use some plain colored you know no patterns cardstock from this pad I've had for a long time now and I was hoping I had more of this blue but I guess I used all that blue because that was my favorite color um, so what did I use out of there? The green. I use this green here. I got this at um, Big Lots. Wow, a long time ago. So then I also use trims from Hobby Lobby. These here, and then there's one that I had used, and I'll show you later. That is, I think it was a. Uh, it might have been a Michaels trim. I did use one of the Michaels butterflies. And wild, these are all wild orchid craft flowers. And then the spoon is from Nicole. Um, a while back we did a swap, so she sent me that. And at the moment, I can't remember her YouTube channel. But she hasn't really been doing too many videos lately. Um, hi, Nicole, if you're watching. And then my images, these two images here is a digital that I printed and cut with my um, silhouette. Those are from Knitwick, Knitwit Collections online. I'll post a link down below. Um, I did buy a couple of sets from that Etsy or, well, it's an online store. I don't know if it's Etsy or not. I can't remember. This here I printed, um, I typed myself, you know, on the computer and then just, I did three of them while I was at it. And then I use my silhouette to cut them. And then I also cut a few extra things from Knitwit Collection in case I wanted to use it for other stuff. So just since I didn't want to just cut a little piece out of my car stock, I decided to just cut a few images to not wait. So let me go ahead and just share with you the card. And hopefully it's enough lighting. The sun is out. It's really nice. So I really tried hard to do a flat card, but that didn't happen. But I did work on my layering um, as far as this type of layering where you have like mats. Um, so I just took a couple of the papers from the Graphic 45 pad. The green one that is like in between them. I did ink my edges. I don't know if I have my ink out but let's see. Sorry for the shaking. Oh I do have it. thought I put it away. I did use a Distress Ink. This is tea dye. Just lightly over all the edges and to make these things all dimensional I use this roll of foam tape um, it's not too thick it's just like just enough 
thickness to make it like all these things dimensional but as you go up anything that goes further out then you have to like either double or triple your foam tape so it's kind of all even when you layer the last pieces on so I cut out um, out of that blue paper this scalloped oval shape layered this green oval shape here with another die that I have I do not know where they're from because I haven't been saving the packaging or writing the names of my dies only a few of my dies have them still so unfortunately I don't know where it's from most likely it's Sizzix but you know exactly which one I wouldn't I couldn't tell you again my images and here now the teacup comes with the little tea bag string and you know the little thing here um, I did hot glue the end to this so it doesn't break off and where the tea or coffee would be I did brush on some Wink of Stella which I am out of so I'm gonna have to get another um, one of those things but I love how it looks it looks like you know there's something in there and then I just simply layered, I made myself a little cluster of flowers, all from Wild Orchid Craft. I did take white paint and dab it on, kind of like I do with my gesso, but this I've just been using the white paint instead. So it wouldn't, you know, come off. Because gesso, um, when you get it on thick, it does chip off sometimes. Um, and then I also brushed it on lightly with the Wink of Stella. I would have put it thicker, but like I said, I was I ran out of it, so I can only... I just brushed it and, and tried to squeeze out as much as I could so I don't even know if it's showing the little bit of shine that it has and then I added that spoon that was altered by Nicole there you know it's to be going into the cup and then here's my butterfly from Michaels and again it is an easel and this kind of reminds me of a skirt of a little like a table you know like a um, dinette table and you know, makes me think of the, like the cloth you would put over it, a little skirt. So these two are from Hobby Lobby. And then this is the one that is from Michaels, which is the perfect color to go with my flowers and the, um, the scallop part here. And then I just took two more papers, one from that botanical tea. And then again, that same green that's there, I put here. And I did make it a little smaller. You can see a white border here. And then the back, as always, I do finish it with something. So I use this from the Botanical Tea. So that's my easel card for Mother's Day. Most likely will go to my mother-in-law. And now I got to pick out what I will send to my sister-in-law. Or what pad I want to use because I don't want to use the same thing I, I, I like to do like different things for everybody especially for my sister-in-law and mother-in-law because they both um, see each other they live in the same they live in Puerto Rico and my sister-in-law always visits so I don't want them to have the exact same thing <laughs> so I have to make something different at least for her so anyway that's my project and stay tuned for card number two which um, Hopefully it won't be too far from now. Bye now.